Hi everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. With me here today as always, Terry Johnson from Firearms Legal Protection. Today on John's Briefs, we're gonna talk about the Florida man who decided to just light up 11 rounds from the inside of his car in traffic, and whether or not it's possible that he could be justified and avoid criminal charges. To win the fight after the fight, you need help. After a use of force, I trust Firearms Legal Protection to help me win the fight for the rest of my life. From their 24-7 attorney answered hotline to coverage for the use of all legal tools, Firearms Legal Protection has you covered. Get a discount by signing up at the link below. Terry, yet again, we got to see Florida Man. Every time you think Florida Man has done something stupid, Florida Man comes back and does something even dumber. For all of you in Florida, it's not a competition. Yeah. Stop it. Really, seriously. Anyhow, um, so, uh, okay, we're going to say at the very beginning, and you've heard me say this a million times, road rage is stupid. Don't be a jerk on the road. Don't cut people off. Don't try to be the, the traffic cop you right. know, on the roadside. Avoid all that crap because that's what got him into this place. So, so Terry, the guy goes and gets a gun out. Um, our our uh, other driver then comes around him and, and comes fast. Now what we find on the video is he had a water bottle in his hand and threw the water bottle at the guy's car. Now after the shooting, the guy called 911. Yes. Uh, was on the phone with, with emergency services. Yes, I, I, I just shot at a guy, it was justified. So he literally said those words, it's justified. And, and then, uh, like, like you get to decide that. <clears throat> and then, said that the guy shot at him. He yes. said, now his argument now that his attorney is making is that he perceived that the other driver shot at him and that's when he shot. Yes. You, what, what do you think? That's a great argument that I would love to see. I mean, if I had to make that argument, you know, the first thing I would say is, well, I have the castle doctrine because I'm in my vehicle and somebody was coming at me. Major problem with that is this guy was the aggressor, though. He started so the conflict. He started the conflict, so he can't he can't say my hands are clean in here. So that that's the first problem. I mean, the, this guy has so many problems. Let, let's let's just start at the beginning. Number one, he's driving, and there's road rage. Get off the road. Just pull over. Let the guy go by you. Get off at the next exit. Whatever. Stop. Just stop. And I think what that brings us is when we talk about ability, opportunity, and jeopardy, that triad, there's that fourth leg in there of preclusion. Yes. Could you have done something else to end the threat that didn't involve the use of deadly force? And if you could, that's going to come up. Yeah. And in this case, <clears throat> our guy literally just opens his uh, counsel, pulls out a gun, driving with it in his hand, which is dangerous. Pointing it at himself and everybody else. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, the guy's coming along the side of him. And now, did he know it was a water bottle? Probably not. Probably not. But here's the problem. Um, the problem is he shot 11 times. And he shot as the guy was driving by him. Because if you notice, I think there was one shot out, out of the, uh, the, window. the passenger window. Yep. And I want to say the other nine or ten shots went through the front window. Mm -hmm. So my question then becomes, how is it self-defense if the guy is running away from you? Or in this case, driving away from you. Right. So that's a huge problem there. Now, Michigan, again, I can't speak for Florida, but I know in Michigan, we've got a uh, law, I think it's 15 or 20 years for shooting a gun out of a motor vehicle. Really? Because yeah. it's probably d directed at drive-bys. Yes. Yes, so you know you've got that. This is this guy was the aggressor. He did so many things wrong. Now again, you can see on the video clearly it's a water bottle. Maybe Hard maybe to see, but it's there. Maybe he thought it was a gun, and maybe you can justify the very first shot. Maybe, but I cannot justify the other ten, ten shots ten that shots. went through shot the shot eleven windshield. times. Yeah, it just makes absolutely no sense. Now, did he do some good things after? Yeah, he was on the phone with 911, right? But again, in our heads, we always say, hey, very few people are going to get out and say, you know what, I really screwed up here. You know, I shot 10 times. I shouldn't have shot 10. You know, the one I'm okay with, but I wasn't justified. Of course he's going to say it's justified because, again, he's selling this in his own head. So to me, I look at this and I say, okay, 
Is it possible that his attorney can successfully argue that the first shot out the passenger window, he reasonably perceived a firearm, and so those charges don't stick? Maybe. Depends. He's going he's gonna to have an uphill climb because of his instigation. Yes. Right? Because he's the aggressor. <clears throat> but the next 10 shots, the guy's running away, and at the very least, I think the prosecutor's going to come back and say, you are recklessly endangering the community. Oh, Those absolutely. Shots are going, there's busy, it's a busy freeway, there's cars all over, and you're endangering everyone around. And so that reckless endangerment is a huge deal. And, and if the prosecutor gets frustrated and there's a statue like there is in Michigan, like there is in Arizona, firing a gun out of a moving vehicle is, yeah. is a, its own felony. Aggravated assault. Um, you could possibly get assault with intent to murder. Um, it's so many things that the prosecutor will be so creative on that's going to put his defense attorney so far behind the eight ball, he's going to have to yeah. plead to something. Yeah, and a felony in all likelihood. Oh, yeah. You're going to lose your gun rights. Mm. Um, you know, I mean, and again, if you look at how he handled that firearm in the vehicle, that was something else that was just crazy. You oh, know, you, that's it's a just, mess. Yeah. It's a mess. But I think, so, so there's an interesting point here that I, I didn't think we were going to talk about in the beginning, but I think it's interesting that maybe the prosecutor realizes, you know, man, if we go to court, I'm not going to get you on the first one. Or I may not get you. I may not get the jury to believe me on the first one, but I'm going to get you on the next 12. Easy. I'm going to get you on 12 of these. I'm going to get you on the road rage charge. I'm going to get you on 11 counts of firing out, uh, out of a moving vehicle. I'm going to get you on reckless endangerment for 10 of those shots. I'm going to get so you're gonna, So I'm going to hook you up with about 26 felonies, buddy, um, because what you did was wrong and you know what you did was wrong. But what we're going to do is this. You're going to plea to this one felony. Lose your gun rights. Lose your gun rights. Lose your ability to vote. You're going to do, uh, we're going to give you uh, time served, blah, 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 whatever, and you're going to do six months, and I will let you go on the rest of them. Now, what are you going to do in that instance? Yeah, well, you know, but you, you've got a lot you're of You're going to take the plea is yeah. what you're going to do. But you got a lot of people who sit back and say, well, but I'm not going to admit that I did this. I felt I was justified. Take the 20 felonies. Exactly. I mean, if you want to roll the dice like that and see where, where it lands, good luck to you. But I, I promise you, any attorney worth his salt is going to come back and say, this is a great deal. You're going to get a felony or maybe two. And the reason, because sometimes, you know, some states will only let you um, expunge a felony, not two. Mm. So it, it's a game and things that they're all playing there. And unfortunately, um, you're the pinball in this game. So. so so, when we talk about being a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person, that's a higher standard than a legal person, right? Don't do stuff like this because this guy might get off on the one charge because he might reasonably perceive. But he's not going to get off on all the other ones. And no. because of that, he's going to catch that first one because that's probably the one the prosecutor goes, nope, the big thing, you're going to plead to that one, so then I'll let all these other ones go. And that still costs you all your rights, still costs you all the time in court, still costs you the time in prison. And money. Money, the crazy money to the attorneys, to the expert witnesses, to all that stuff. To, uh, and, and, I mean, imagine, um, uh, the other part of this, imagine... How many times this guy's mug has been on the news and what that cost him personally, what that cost him, could have cost him his job? Uh, because again, his face is associated with my brand yep. or my company and I don't want that anymore. Um, and if he's this much of a hothead, you don't want him around your other employees. Yeah, amen to that. So, so listen, just because you don't catch those charges on one doesn't mean you're not gonna catch him on the next one. So don't do stupid stuff like this, huh? Terry, appreciate the time, man. Thank you.